Hi everyone, welcome to another Hatton's Model Railways live stream. And this afternoon, we're looking at the different bookazines that we have on offer, which can really inspire you, either building a new layout or getting some inspiration to start a new project. There's several different types that we have available. I'll be covering some of the insides and outs of them, as you can see here. I've picked my top five to show you today of what we've got in stock at the moment. But as I'm sure you can imagine with some of these magazines, the stock is ever changing. So do have a look at that link in the description if you're watching this live or you're watching it a little later on and our latest list of bookazines will be there. And as the name describes, the, the sort of halfway between a magazine and a full book. So you'll get a lot more info than a magazine, but not quite for the price of a book as well. So it's a really good middle ground just to have a little bit of info to hand, ideally sized to have on the side of the workbench or on your coffee table, just to flick into every now and then and get a little bit of inspiration. And inspiration's where I really wanted to start here. There's a lot of magazines such as this that have come out, and this is one of my favourites. This is an older edition that we have, and these are brought out every year. It's a real, I mean, you've got over 130 pages purely of layout inspiration there. N-Gage, O-Gage, Double O, Modern Image, you name it. You've also got the full track plans that the layouts have been built to and many, many images and written up text describing how they've built the layouts and more info besides. So if you are thinking about a new project, you're looking for something that you can make, whether you're a steam modeler or as here, you're modeling the sectorization era of the 1980s or anything in between, picking up one of these manuals and guides can give you a huge amount of inspiration and full color printed as well. Even looking through this now, I've, I've got to admit, I'm getting tempted to get my workbench dusted off and work on a few different bits and pieces. So they are purely guides to many people's different layouts that they've built in many different scales and give you some real inspiration if you're thinking about making a new project or you're not quite sure what it is you want to decide on so that's one to take a look at as said this is volume number four this one's from 2016 but the age doesn't really matter it's still the inspiration in there there is a volume every year some have sold out and we still have low stocks of some of the others but don't let the date put you off. Even if it is one of the older copies we have, there's still some fantastic inspiration in there for modelers past and present. But if you do want to pick up the latest copy, we do have the 2020 version available if you click that link in the description. Moving on. So you've got your inspiration. Now we've read our bookazine on the inspiration. We actually want to get started. There's a few things you can do here to learn the skills. You can watch some of our skills cast videos on our YouTube channel or you can pick up some of the tools and start modeling. But another great thing to have is some of the different bookazines on the skills that we offer. These style, again, over 130 pages in full color with how to do different skills. This here is building plastic kits. And then you'll see further through the magazine, you've got building good shed, how to ballast. There's several different volumes of this covering different inspiration. And again, just giving you quick guides to getting started with some of those skills. They're not fully comprehensive guides. They won't tell you everything you need to know, but they'll certainly give you the basics to get started and inspire you to carry on from there. Now, this again is a volumed one. This is the latest volume, volume six. But these have been released in various volumes before with different skills. And we do have a number of these in stock. And these come in at just $5.99 at the moment with the layout guide being $4.99. So everything I've got here today is a really great sort of budget ideas base, really. You can get a lot of inspiration coming through from these and learn some of the skills that you need to. And they are really good to have as well. Moving on, I'm just going to jump forward now because we're getting a couple of questions about it. So I'm going to sneak ahead to a later on. It's the formations guide. Now, if you're running a layout and you're really not sure what wagons you need or what locomotives you have, these are invaluable. These cover a huge amount of different trains that ran across the UK. This particular volume covers trains from the 70s, 80s, 90s and 2000s. So a huge amount of freight there, lots of different classic trains. There's passenger workings in there too. 
So I'll just open that up for you. And Charms, what it does indeed show freight in there. I'll try and find you a good example of some freight. So here we go. This is some of the Speedlink chemical traffic. It goes really in depth, gives you information on the various vehicles in there. And then if we flick the page, you will see some of the formations. I think this is for a slightly different working, but you'll see some of the formations that are then dated as well. So you know what year they are, what suitable locomotives you may already have in your collection and what vehicles you need. So if you're wanting to recreate a fully authentic railway scene, these are the guides for you. We've got some Scottish locomotives and trains from the 70s and 80s there. Again, just showing exactly what you need to recreate those authentic formations. So once you have your layout on the go, they are the place to go to make sure you've got every single vehicle you need and you get in your collection as accurate as you want. But even if you don't want the full authenticity, you like the trains you like, these are still really good to show what else you can add to your collection, especially for you modelers of the diesel and electric era. I believe there is a variation on the way coming, covering some of the steam models out there. And indeed, we do have some formations guide on our website too. So cutting back to the one I was going to cover before, this is the Express Steam Locomotive Manual. This covers pretty much every major model of a large steam locomotive in double O scale absolutely comprehensively. It gives a full review of the locomotive. You'll also see some great details there covering a lot of the specifics of the actual model, the motor, the fittings inside. At the bottom of the page there, you'll see there's a guide on opening the locomotive and fitting it with a digital decoder. And this again is a fully comprehensive booklet for steam locomotives that are coming through see here we've got hornby's latest princess coronation and it covers most of the recent large locomotives delivered over the last 10 years or so so looking through try and find another example we've got the v2 there in double o gauge the lner v2 and it i haven't seen anything that covers locomotives in this much depth and how to how to fit them up with the full details You've got their Hornby's Britannia, again, just showing there the full details on how to fit one of these up. So if you are a modeler of large steam locomotives, this is invaluable to have as part of your collection. It gives you every single detail you need to know. Again, there's a little bit in there of real life inspiration too, but it's mainly on how to amend your models, how to service them, and it covers a wide range of locomotives. If you want a full list of the locos that this covers, do follow that link in the description. There is a link to our website page for this, and it covers every single model that this does have in it. So do take a closer look at that. But for the last one, let's, let's rewind a bit. Let's go right back before we've even thought of planning the layout, before we've got our locos out. Let's just get a bit more inspiration. Let's see something that we wanted to learn some more about on the real railways of the UK. And we can help you here too. There's various different bookazines that we have available purely of photographs and historic information showing the different trains out there on the network, some of the duties that they did do. And one of the most recent examples, which is fantastic for you modern image modelers, is this. It covers the rarely seen side of the railways and rarely documented actually with the test trains that go up and down the uk testing the different track and calibrating the uk's railways gives you a lot of the history there as well from the technical center in derby from the 70s and 80s and if modern image isn't your thing there are bookazines available too for you earlier modelers there's prototype locomotives 1960s modeling inspiration out there Again, there's too many to list here today, but do take a look at that link in the description for some more. But they are my five favorite types that you have. You have the purely inspirational magazine, which will give you some great info, whether you're a modeler or not. You've got the in-depth details regarding the locomotives, really valuable to have if you are into customizing your locos or fitting them with extra details. This is a really good one for you and it gives you some extra information. You've got the formations guide that a couple of you have mentioned. This makes sure you're operating the right loco with the right wagons. 
and passenger coaches as well. And you've got some really good information there on all the different services. And again, a bit of prototype information too. Heading back to the models, if you're wanting to learn some new skills and you're wanting to pick up some new inspiration, pick up one of the Build a Model Railway Guides similar to this. We have quite a lot in stock covering different themes and covering different skills. These ones are towards the more basic end of the market, but they do cover a lot of different items such as ballasting and other skills that you can learn. And finally, if you just want to see some good model railways, who doesn't really, let's be honest, you can pick up one of these particular magazines, the Great British Model Railways, and again, 130 pages plus of pure inspiration, whether you're looking at building another layout or you simply just want to see some fantastic layouts that others have built, these are the ones for you. And that's just five of what we offer. I, I had a quick check before we came on the stream and we had about 30 or so different ones in stock. So do have a look through, but I've got some other honorable mentions as well. So I'll show those up on the screen for you now. We have book scenes covering some of the famous side of model railways, including the Great Model Railway Challenge, which was on, on TV and the full history of Hornby Hobbies as you can see there, so a fair bit of information that you can see in there. Heading over, we've got some more of the in-depth modeling guides and designs. You can see that these are really specific to certain things. We've got Pico's Modeling German Railways special on the left, and they have done a Swiss and French Railways version too. And over on the right is the guide to modeling heritage railways across the UK. So if you want to lay out with steam, diesel, electric, everything you want on it, that really is something to take a closer look at. And last but not least, many of the major magazines you may have heard of, such as Rail Express Modeler, Railway Modeler and Hornby Magazine, do release yearbooks too. And these compile a lot of everything in there, really. You get some modeling guides, some modeling inspiration, some of their famous layouts and favorite layouts of the year. And you will always find in those guides that they've put something in there that's not in the magazines that year too. So they will save some of their best layouts and ideas for those yearly books that come out. And they usually come out towards the start of the year and they do sell out quite quickly. I think we have some copies of both of these issues available now. So do have a quick look if you want to pick one of those up. But they act as a really good summary of the year. They'll also cover a lot of the different model railway news that has taken place within that year too. So these are a really cheap and ineffective, and effective, shall I say, way to get some inspiration for your layout, to add some new skills, and just to have something on the side of your workbench to refer to when you need that little bit of guidance and a little bit more information. And of course, with Christmas coming now as well, these are all under £8 each. The most expensive one is £7.99, and most of them are actually below £5. So if you click that link in the description, they're not only great for you and your inspiration, but if you do know someone who is a modeler, have a look for them too, as you may find something that's ideal as a Christmas stocking filler or a present for them. So take a look at what we've got. All the information is right there in the description. As always, I've put a big list of all the bookazines that we have available right now, covering the five different major types and my five favorite ones that I had here for you today. But what's your favorite? Have you read a really good one recently that really gripped you on every single page? Have you found one that really taught you some great new skills? Do let us know in the comments. I'd be really interested to know which one is really sort of come out to you and shown that it's a really good thing to read. But otherwise, make sure to stay tuned to our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. Don't forget to like and subscribe them for more videos like this. We'll be bringing you real railway profiles, skills casts, and more and more modeling inspiration, as we always do. And of course, we've always got the latest model railway news on our website too. Otherwise, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to check out these bookazines on the website and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.